Chuseok, Korea's Thanksgiving, is a time for families to gather, celebrate the harvest, and honor ancestors. It's a vibrant tapestry, woven with the threads of tradition, marked by elaborate ancestral rites, the sharing of delicious food, and the warmth of familial bonds. For many, it's a cherished opportunity to reconnect with loved ones and bask in the glow of shared heritage. However, beneath the surface of festive celebrations, a different narrative often unfolds, one marked by stress, anxiety, and the weight of societal expectations. For young couples, especially, Chuseok can be a minefield of potential conflicts and anxieties. The pressure to uphold traditional customs, coupled with the complexities of modern relationships, can create a volatile mix. The long holiday, meant for relaxation and togetherness, can quickly transform into a source of tension. The idyllic image of a harmonious family gathering can sometimes clash with the reality of navigating complex family dynamics. The expectation of visiting extended family, often involving long journeys and extended stays, can add to the strain. The pressure to present a perfect image of domestic bliss can be overwhelming. The seemingly endless cycle of preparing food, serving guests, and participating in rituals can leave couples feeling exhausted and depleted. The weight of these expectations can overshadow the joy of the holiday, transforming it into an endurance test. The festive atmosphere, meant to be a source of joy, can be overshadowed by the underlying anxieties. The pressure to conform to traditional roles and expectations can be particularly acute during Chuseok. The seemingly simple act of visiting family can become fraught with unspoken tensions. The holiday, intended as a celebration of unity, can inadvertently expose the cracks in modern relationships. Consider the story of Ji Hye and Min Ho, a young couple navigating their third Chuseok together. Ji Hye, a working professional, feels the pressure to single-handedly manage the elaborate meal preparations, while Min Ho is expected to engage in lengthy conversations with his uncles about his career prospects. The weight of these traditional gender roles casts a shadow over their holiday. The seemingly simple act of celebrating a holiday becomes a complex negotiation of expectations and responsibilities, I just wish we could enjoy Chuseok without all this stress. It feels like I'm doing everything alone. I know, Ji Hye, but my uncles expect me to talk about work. It's exhausting. Another couple, Su Young and Jae Hyun, face a different dilemma. They are both from divorced families, which adds a layer of complexity to their Chuseok plans. The need to divide their time between two sets of families creates logistical challenges and emotional strain. The holiday, meant for togetherness, becomes a juggling act of divided loyalties. The pressure to please everyone can leave them feeling torn and depleted. We can't be in two places at once. How do we choose who to spend time with? It's so hard. I just want everyone to be happy but it feels impossible. The expectation of lavish gifts adds another layer of financial burden to young couples already struggling with the rising cost of living. The pressure to present a prosperous image can lead to unnecessary expenses. The holiday, meant for sharing and gratitude, can become a source of financial stress. The focus on material possessions can overshadow the true meaning of the celebration. Even seemingly minor details, like seating arrangements and conversational topics, can become sources of contention. The traditional hierarchy within families can dictate who sits where and who speaks when. The unspoken rules of etiquette can create a sense of unease. The holiday, meant for relaxation, becomes a performance of social expectations. Traditional Chuseok celebrations often reinforce patriarchal structures, placing a disproportionate burden on women. 
The expectation that women are primarily responsible for domestic duties, like cooking and cleaning, perpetuates outdated gender roles. This division of labour reinforces the idea that women's primary value lies in their domestic abilities. The holiday, meant for shared celebration, can reinforce societal inequalities. The pressure on women to produce male heirs continues to be a source of stress for many couples. The emphasis on lineage and carrying on the family name places undue pressure on women. This expectation can create tension within families and strain relationships. The holiday, meant for joy and togetherness, can become a reminder of societal pressures. I feel like I'm constantly being judged for not having a son yet. It's unfair. We should be allowed to enjoy our time without this pressure. The expectation that women should prioritize their in-laws' needs over their own can be particularly challenging. The pressure to conform to traditional expectations of filial piety can limit women's autonomy. This expectation can create resentment and strain relationships. The holiday meant for family harmony can become a source of conflict. The traditional emphasis on male authority figures within the family can create an uncomfortable environment for women. The expectation that women should defer to men in conversations and decision-making reinforces patriarchal power dynamics. This can limit women's ability to express their opinions and participate fully in family discussions. The holiday, meant for open communication, can become a platform for reinforcing traditional gender roles. Sometimes it feels like my voice doesn't matter. I hear you, Jihye. We need to find a way to make this holiday work for both of us. Section 4. A Generational Shift Millennials and Gen Z redefine Chuseok. Millennials and Gen Z are challenging these traditional expectations, pushing for a more equitable and inclusive Chuseok experience. They are questioning outdated gender roles and advocating for a more balanced division of labor. They are pushing back against the pressure to conform to traditional expectations. They are creating new traditions that reflect their values. These younger generations are more open to discussing sensitive topics like gender equality and family dynamics. They are challenging the unspoken rules that have governed family interactions for generations. They are creating space for more open and honest communication. They are fostering a more inclusive and understanding environment. They are also more likely to prioritize their own well-being and mental health during the holiday season. They are setting boundaries and saying no to activities that cause them undue stress. They are prioritizing self-care and recognizing the importance of mental well-being. They are creating a healthier and more sustainable approach to celebrating Chuseok. They are embracing alternative ways of celebrating Chuseok, such as traveling with friends, volunteering, or simply enjoying some quiet time alone. They are challenging the notion that Chuseok must be celebrated in a specific way. They are creating new traditions that reflect their individual preferences and values. They are redefining